Diffusion happens when a substance is more concentrated in one place than another. One example is, if a cell is producing carbon dioxide, the concentration of carbon dioxide will be higher inside the cell than outside. And the difference in concentration here is called concentration gradient. If you are looking for a definition, here it is. Diffusion is the net movement of particles from a region of high concentration to low concentration, that is, down a concentration gradient. Moving on, we look at factors affecting diffusion. So first we have surface area to volume ratio. A larger surface area in proportion to volume will increase rate of diffusion. Next is distance. The greater the distance, the slower the rate of diffusion. The temperature. Diffusion is faster at higher temperatures and concentration gradient. So if there is a big difference in concentration or steep concentration gradient, there will be faster diffusion. Next is something known as osmosis. Here, water moves from across cell membranes by a special sort of diffusion. Osmosis happens when the total concentration of all the dissolved substances inside and outside the cell are different. Water will move from the more dilute solution to the more concentrated solution. It also happens in plant cells, but before we move into that, we'll have to find out a bit more on cell membranes. This cell membrane is both selectively permeable and partially permeable. So selectively permeable means that membranes can control which molecules it lets through. And partially permeable membranes allow smaller molecules like water and gas, but not larger molecules, to pass through. Okay, so osmosis in plant cells. There is a tough cell wall made of cellulose. This cell wall gives the cell its shape and can resist changes in pressure. But unlike cell membranes, it is freely permeable to water and solute. So as you already know, diffusion happens down a concentration gradient. But sometimes cells need to take in a substance when there is very little that substance outside. In other words, up or against concentration gradient. This is known as active transport. During active transport, a cell uses energy from respiration to take up substances.